very well. All right. Excuse me, you guys. And I don't know how bad y'all pollen was, but I got out here one day, and when I tell y'all, it felt like I had caught the flu. My ears was itching. I couldn't stop sneezing. I couldn't stop coughing. But it was the pollen. It wasn't even a cold. So we got rain for like two days, and it washed all the, most of the pollen away. So this is the one that we put in today, the lime, and um. This is the only one that I didn't get in the ground last year. The other ones I did. So I think this is peach. The kumquat. You guys, look. The kumquat survived. Y'all see that? It survived. Yep. This is a pear. She's coming back. Nope, this is a peach. Oh, they're, um, Alberta peach. Yep. How pretty how pretty the blooms are coming back you guys I think this one is a pear coming back I think this is another pear or persimmon not sure coming back this is the pear mon monoglow Coming back, you guys. This is one of the persimmons. It is budding. Yep. Got some life there, y'all. So the orchard is waking up. Beautiful multi grafted cherry tree. Multi grafted apple tree. This, nope, this is this is the cherry, and I think this one is the apple. Yeah, got them mixed up. This one is the, this one is the cherry. Yep. And this one <laughs> is that persimmon that done been beat up so much, you guys, and it's still bouncing back. We did get some fruit from that one, and we got some fruit from the other one. This is the multi grafted apple. And you guys remember I was struggling my well I wasn't struggling but my apple tree was. Remember I had the the black thing around it and the termites was tearing my poor tree up. And I did a video on this and I think it got cut off and y'all might have heard me say that my insurance person told me to burn it. And she said it will bounce back, but you can burn that fungus that be around the tree. That's what she told me, but I didn't try it. But I think it, it is bouncing back. This is, if I ain't mistaken, this is a, the other persimmon. Yep. This is going to be looking really nice. And this one here is, this is one of the, let me see. This has got to be, this has got to be the lemon tree. And I can't see the other, this is one of the citruses though. I can't see the green tag, but I'm pretty sure this is, um, I don't think it's calamondin. I really believe that it's the lemon. I would have to go back in the videos and check, but it survived the winter, you guys. It survived. Zone 8A. It survived. And we got her in the ground last year. Finally. Got tired of baby, babysitting them. And there's that tall, tall pear. There's Queen Lead. We did get some fruit from Queen Lead. Last season, not a lot, but I think this is going to be a good year. She's going on. Shoot, I think Queen Lead is probably four or five years old now. And remember I told y'all, she was a shorty doo-wop for a long time. And she she is finally um, taking off. So I can't wait to see what she's going to be looking like this summer. And see the fruit that she's going to bear. 
and that is the other pear tree that done shot up and I'm gonna have to get in here and prune these lower leaves yeah I didn't do a lot of pruning towards the end of the season or the beginning of this season I did not and I have to make up for that when um, they get ready to go dormant for next year well for this year for this summer so these is ready and these are definitely going to be my onion beds right here and like I said we had some spinach we did get some harvests off the spinach my green onions have been um, coming back cut and come again and I've been harvesting those so you guys overall it's been a it's been a wonderful winter season for me I just haven't been on camera yep and then we had some look like a seed had got over here some collard green seed that got over here and we just left it so eventually that's gonna have to get cut back too so yeah you guys this is what the homestead is looking like it is waking up so you guys I'm so glad that we got a lot of work done I still got some to go though but the, um, I think the hardest part is done so I want to beat the heat I always say I want to beat this heat you guys and we're going to clean out those four beds back there and then we should be good to go and I'm also going to work on some beautification with some more flowers in my front yard and back here somewhere I have a can of these flowers and I might I might try to plant them around the tree and just throw them around the big trees that out here to bring some pretty color around those trees and maybe my big giant tree back here maybe this one too we'll see all right, you guys, this is SEK, the homesteader. I hope everyone is doing well, and I will see you guys real soon. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace.